guys, thank you so much for stopping back around my channel. I'm super duper excited to share this video with you today. I have been working on a little project here in my house and I am going to reveal my new home gym. I officially quit my relationship with my gym membership only because of just the distance, the time, my life schedule. It just wasn't happening. I wasn't getting to it. So now that I have a gym in my home, I really have no excuse to get my workouts in and it's a lot easier, more convenient, and I am saving money. So if you wanna see the whole process, just watch this video. The reveal will be at the end, but I'll show you all the mistakes that happened along the way. Hi guys, it is approximately, let's see, two days after Christmas. It is Friday the 27th, and I am in the beginning stages process of redoing this room in my basement to turn it into a home gym. I've been dying to do like a little mini renovation type project. I play a lot of design home, that's the problem. And I just see all these rooms that I design, I'm like, wow, I really want to do this in, in real life. So I knew I wanted to um, kind of have a little bit more of an exercise space at home because with my job and my life, I really don't get to get to the gym as much. And then I just went all in. I was like, you know what, I'm canceling my gym membership and I'm, I'm doing a home gym, like a complete home gym. So that process starts today. Um, I put myself in a timeline. This is supposed to be a five day project. <laughs> Let's see if I stick to that. I'm already tired and I already look crazy because this has been stressful from the beginning, but I'm very much excited about it. And I just want to show you this space again. So you can see what it looks like now. I have to go to Home Depot and go to a few stores. I'll just bring you along with me so you can see some of the stuff that I purchased. But I wanted to let you know that this is what's happening. Okay. And I'm really excited. This was a 2020 goal a Christmas present to myself, and I'm doing it. Let's just show you the room. So, over here is, uh, I have a, over here, like right on this wall is where you're kind of gonna come in and you'll see that this, there'll be a little decal here. I think I ordered the one that says like, gym open 24 seven or something like that. But here will be um, a little cube or one of those cube organizers and it'll have like a mini fridge on top, a place for towels, a little place for socks and sneakers, just to give it like a real kind of gym feel. I wanted to make sure that I had everything kind of in one space because I didn't want it to be like a half room or a room that was multifunctional. I wanted to have a specific purpose. So over here in this area, I'm going to put, um, what is it called? The weight rack. We already have a few weights I ordered two more i think a 25 and a 10. we have 15 we have 40 we have a medicine ball we have three i think we have six so they're all going to be in this area just you know with the little rack i got it from amazon everything will be linked for this but just want to let you know and here is my bike <gasps> look guys it's a peloton so if you don't know what a peloton is it's like really this whole bike movement that's happening right now but peloton has been around for a while this is one of the original Peloton bikes and I'm so glad that my mom didn't have one of her days where she decided she wants to throw everything out because it's in great condition and it's solid and I'm really I was really looking to get into more of an active cardio type of workout so this is it I'm no longer running I used to be a runner another story but I'm, I'm into biking I'm into cycling so this will be that um, right here in this space will be another kind of equipment thing that I ordered from Amazon it's hard to explain but it's gonna be there and then here on the wall I have a decal that'll be here in the center and then <laughs> those little mistakes over here you see this over here yeah those will be covered with just picture frames and like motivational exercise things then over here on this like corner wall not this stuff um, we have another bench that we already had it's like a flat bench and it'll just be for regular stuff whatever you want to use it for uh, I don't know Anywho, so onto this wall and this wall is so this is the, the wall for the stairs in my basement. The other side is like a little rec regional side. But this wall I am going to be doing uh, about a uh, kind of floor to ceiling mirrors here because I feel like with the gym you really want mirrors when you work for certain workouts it's good to be able to see yourself perform and all those purposes. And then right here we already have a 24 inch TV that I used for my videos but I'm going to mount it right here. And then on this side this will not be there on this side like from this little section um with the pegaboard i'm going to mount our exercise ball and we have two yoga mats 
and then there's gonna be a little space on there for something extra. And I am going to be putting uh, flooring in here. Now, I didn't want it, you, I'll take you to Home Depot and you'll see. I didn't want to do the regular gym mats because it started to get expensive with this just whole space. So I found these mats at Home Depot online that I think are gonna work really well. I just wanted to bring in flooring to make this look less basementy, um, and also just to have a little bit more grip in case I want to take my shoes off and work out that I'm not sliding on this, this lovely carpet here. So. Here's before, guys. It's gonna be fun. Guys, Home Depot was so stressful for me. I have never been that stressed out in that store before. And I think it's partially because I was alone and the second part was that I was getting heavier things. Um, when I normally sometimes go there by myself, I'm not getting stuff that weighs a lot, so I don't really need help. And it seemed like no one wanted to help today. So two of the things that I had, like I nearly almost threw my back out trying to lift them up. And then I was in the light aisle for like 15 minutes waiting for the associate to come back and they never did. So I'm out of Home Depot, I'm onto Models. Models is having a clearance sale, so I'm trying to get some weights from here. And I was thinking that I was going to spray the pegboard that I just bought all black, but I think I'm just going to do the border of it black because it'll dry faster and I don't... The basement is kind of a weird temperature sometimes and I know with paint you really have to get a good primer and seal it or else it'll get sticky. And I really just wanted something black to differentiate it from the wall, but it doesn't have to be completely black. So I'm going to try and I think I'm just going to do the border and that saves me like a whole headache and a half. So... I'm gonna do that. Okay, off to Model. So I couldn't even show you guys what I was buying in Models because I accidentally dropped the 25 plate. Well, I didn't drop it. It was I, I was holding it up into my legs and it fell and it like hit the back a little bit above my Achilles and it's in so much pain right now. I knew it was, I had a feeling it was gonna happen, but it's fine. Whatever. Basically though, there Models is having a sale right now and it's basically like a dollar, I think, a pound. So if you're interested, definitely hit up Models because I got the 25 plate for $25 and then there was the 10 pound dumbbell for $9.99. I ended up just getting the one that was a little bit more expensive. I think it was 12 or $14.99 because it has the grips on it and I tend to drop those dumbbells that don't have any whatever. So go to Models. I'm supposed to be going to Ikea right now, but I think I have to go somewhere else. I don't know what's going on in this parking lot. Are they having like a race over here? You see, sir? You see, said sir, in the corner? Let me leave. Hmm. So guys, this is what I got for the flooring, and I'm actually probably gonna try and use the flip side, but these are basically like, um, they're doormats, but like for, companies or industrial places where you need a bigger one because this is four feet by six feet and I'm not going to cover obviously all of the carpet in here but just a good majority of it to give it a little different feel and color. <laughs> So after all that guys, I ended up just getting the gym tile mats instead. While I like the concept of the rubber industrial mats, uh, one of them tore very easily and I just didn't want to run into any problems in the future. This also ended up being a little bit cheaper than the, uh, the larger mats, so I just felt like this is the better bet and that way I know it would work for the purpose that I'm using it for because that's what it's designed for. Moving on to the tiles that I got from Ikea, they're about $10 each and they each come with double-sided tape. I decided not to use that because I read a review about them falling down, so I'm using command strips and I'm using one each. Uh, it doesn't really matter, I guess, it doesn't have to be a heavier weight, but these are a little bit less than three pounds in case you're wondering which strips to get.
guys, this is the pegboard that I got from Home Depot, and I just had my dad mount it. I ended up not painting it because I just felt that it looked great this way, and the colors brought out everything else. Guys, this is the item I was telling you about from Amazon that I got, and it has a dual kind of duality to it that I really like. Um, you're able to kind of adjust the seat, and that allows you to do a lot of different workouts. I'm going to try and put a clip right here of the video from Amazon, but this is really going to help me. Um, with just like upper body and other things that I can do on the bench and I think that that was a great way for me to save space in here because it does not uh, as you can see it does not take up a lot of space but there's a lot of it has a lot of different functions and I think it was a great buy this I also got from Amazon which is basically just a weight rack um, I'm gonna add in like a few more weights here and here on this side but uh, this was good enough to start, and this is the weight that I dropped on my foot from Odell's at 25 pound down there. Yep, not not happy with that. And then the last other equipment item that I did show you guys is this Peloton bike. Um, I think I already explained that I've had this before. Or I already, I already had this. This is the, the older versions, as you can see by the symbol. But I'm really getting into cycling, and I just thought that I might as well use it because... We already have it and it fits really well in the space and this allows me to really tackle my lower body um, without having to do as many other weight exercises like I'll still do deadlifts and and lunges and all that stuff with these weights but I tend to stand up on these kind of bikes and just kind of you know tighten the resistance so that I'm making sure I'm toning and getting so this is a little cubby that I got from Walmart, guys. Um, what I like about it is it's a six cubes, but you could also, you can turn this the other way if you want to. Um, and I just thought it worked better in the space, just to kind of give you an idea what I have in here. So in this top jaw, I basically just have um, my headphones, my Bluetooth wireless headphones, a headband. Um, this is the hot jaw that I use for my abs. It's really going to be more like a junkier draw. I wanted to make sure that I had stuff down here already so that when I'm coming to do my workout I don't have to worry about oh I left this upstairs and I left that upstairs my fire stick um, I'm able to attach with two headphones which I think will come in handy for when other people are down here on the other side of my basement um, there's like a TV hangout area and if you want to do a workout and kind of like blast whatever you're doing you can just hit, hook up the wireless headphones to the TV so that's what that's for um, a cubby for sneakers this bottom one has socks and I have to I'm washing the towels right now again just wanted to like think of things that I may not have or forget upstairs so I'm not doing the up and down um, keeping towels and socks down here I think it's gonna be super helpful another spot for sneakers and then here is just it's another um, I have a foam roller but this is another way to roll out your muscles uh, a jump rope these are exercise weight cards with body weight um, there's a ton of here and that you can do and then I have this is my mom's actually the curves waist trainer thing some ankle weights another junk drawer like I said but I just wanted to have um, certain equipment essentials in here that way I didn't have to go up and down the steps